As we continue, so they used to give give uh, small gifts uh, uh, the time of uh, the Romans, the pagans, uh, they used to give uh, small gifts uh, for the sake of good luck. The idea was uh, to give a gift in hope of bringing in a bountiful harvest the, the, the next year. So gift giving. Uh, between the Romans, the pagan, uh, Roman pagans, was uh, was to bring hope, uh, bring in a bountiful harvest uh, the next year. So that was the meaning of the gift giving. Rather than uh, have huge lists of gifts, gifts to give, the Romans also shared only one gift with one, one and uh, one another. Uh, one another somewhere along the line giving gifts for luck and prosperity became a multi-billion multi-million dollar business isn't that funny nowadays it's a multi-million dollar business nowadays but those uh, the, the the time of the pagans uh, the, they were given gifts smaller gifts so that they are so that they can uh, they can give they can get bountiful harvest the next year. Uh, that was the meaning. The second uh, the second uh, the, the second tradition uh, they used to do is Saturn's uh, Santa's image and Christmas tokens. So what is the meaning? Oh, Marshall, our current uh, modern day image of uh, Saturn Claus. Oh, clad in red fur, in red fur, the way he usually dress, uh, dresses in red, in red fur and everything, with a big white beard, you know Santa Claus, the, the appearance and everything, was largely developed by Coca-Cola in the 19, 1930s. Uh, Santa Claus was uh, produced in those time of the, the time by the coca-cola company they are the ones who designed uh, everything the beard and everything coca-cola company in the 1930s but the idea of an old man giving gifts to children dates much earlier than that before even coca-cola uh, coca-cola did that it was something earlier than that before even coca-cola coca-cola coca decided to do that so it was something that was there before eh? <clears throat> much earlier than that back to the time of the pagans so it was something that started at the time of pagans mm. as we look much further father christmas they normally refer to him as father christmas the father of christmas or Saturn Claus, otherwise known as a uh, saint nicholas so he was known like he was known he was known as Saint Nicholas, was a patron saint of children, the poor, and the prostitutes. The way they explain it, living around fourth century AD, Saint Nicholas was a generous bishop who was known for giving gifts to the poor, sporting a big beard, a very big beard, uh, Saint Nicholas or Santa Santa Claus. Santa Claus, a long clock, much like the Santa we know and love. 
But even before Santa Claus, St. Nicholas, uh, there was another bearded old man called Holden. Holden, this, day, this deity god, was worshipped by highly Germanic pagan tribes. So Holden, there's a, there was another another bearded uh, man, old man called Holden. This was a deity. It was a deity was worshipped by highly Germanic pagan tradition tribes, German Germanic tribes. They used to worship him. Uh, traditionally portrayed as uh, an old man with a long white beard with a, with an eight-legged horse called. Sleep, sleep near, sleep near. Eh, who, who he would uh, ride through the skis just like Santa, Santa Rendias, uh, as you see the way they portray the Saturn Rendias, those who carry Saturn, uh, Santa Claus when he's giving gifts, flying over the skies and everywhere. So during the winter, kids would uh, fill their booty. Uh, bodies with carrots and straw and leave them by the chimney for sleep near to feed on. Holden would fly by and reward the children with little presents in their bodies, much, uh, much like we do with Christmas stockings today. It was something that was practiced and uh, by the pagans, the pagan. Uh, so they are explaining that uh, Odin, uh, Odin was the one, uh, he was a deity that was worshipped. He, he had a long beard. Uh, he was worshipped by the Germanic pagan tribes. So he used to normally come with gifts to gift their children when they, gift, uh, when they presented their gifts to, the, to Odin for, for the... For, for the for the for the what for the eight-legged horse, uh, just imagine uh, an eight-legged, eight-legged, eight-legged uh, horse. That is very strange, very demonic. Subhanallah. And uh, uh, as we continue, Saturn, uh, Santa Claus, we all know, imagine in our heads today, is a mishmash of the generous Saint Nicholas, the God Hoden, and uh, Sleep Near, Coca-Cola's iconic red-dressed character that you all know today. Uh, we say Santa, uh, Santa Claus is a deity. Uh, he's been portrayed as a... Uh, as a... Uh, as the Father Christmas today, and put, uh, normally people they put the beard, the white beard, uh, to, to look like uh, Santa Claus. We all know it everywhere. So the season, it has come. We know it very well, but uh, that is the case. So it's a pagan uh, deity, Saturn, San, Santa Claus. So they are referring Santa Santa Claus. They are remembering Santa Claus as Odin. Odin is Odin was a deity worshipped by the Germanic uh, traditional uh, uh, Germanic pagan uh, tribes. They used to worship Odin and uh, Saint Nicholas. He was a pagan. Number three, Christmas carols. While the carols we sing for Christmas are undeniably Christian, so nowadays people they they sing uh, Christmas carols. They uh, they are undeniably uh, Christian. Christian. The tra the tradition itself of going door to door singing to your neighbors comes from the, another pagan tradition called was was sailing was sailing was sailing was sailing was sailing is a tradition from the pagan uh, is a is a pagan tradition uh, when people they come to your door they sing to you in the time of uh, christmas it was something it was a tradition for which was uh, adapted from the pagans 
and uh, rather rather funny word comes from the anglo-saxon phrase of whale ways highly ways highly translating to good health every year was sailors would uh, roam through the village uh, their villages in small groups singing loudly loudly with the aim of banishing evil spirits wishing good health to those around them no a sailing group was completely complete with their tradition drink drink on hand made from mullet hail ha, mullet hale hal cuddled cream roasted apples eggs spice and sugar so they they normally carried the the beverages and everything uh, beer and everything and uh, they used to go and sing to the villagers they used to knock on the doors of the neighbors and sing to them it was something was practiced by the by the pagans uh, so alhamdulillah so we are trying to to make it uh, i'm trying to explain it in a much easier way so that people they can understand the tradition they normally uh, people practice at the period of uh, christmas so alhamdulillah in the 13th th- th- 13th century the 13th th- 13th century saint francis took the inspiration from these happy choirs and started started the tradition of christmas caroling so it was something adapted from the pagans the fourth one kissing under the mistletoe ever wondered about the correlation between mistletoe and kissing well Funnily enough, the tradition goes all the way back to the pagans. Kissing under the mistletoe, there's a, there's a tree hanged above. So when you when you are on that tree, you are on the, the the spot of that tree. The tradition of the pagans, you are supposed to kiss. It was something which was adapted from the pagans. Kissing under the mistletoe. It was considered to be a be highly sacred plant involved in the several pagan rituals so it was uh, involved in a seven several pagan rituals in the roman world mistletoe honored alhamdulillah as we continue with our fifth uh, tradition which was uh, actually uh, a tradition of the pagans decking the halls with holly uh, mistletoe wasn't a mistletoe tree hanging the mistletoe tree on the above the heads wasn't the only sacred plant for the pagans holy was another holy plant connected with the god saturn during the saturnalia holiday romans made holy wreaths to exchange as gifts for good luck uh, during the saturnalia holiday uh, they used to exchange uh, gifts for reds for to exchange reds reds for good luck at the time of saturnalia holy christians began to celebrate christmas however they were often persecuted for practicing their new religion it was lucky that uh, christmas coincided uh, with saturnalia as it allowed christians to harbor to harbor a cover for their christmas celebrations to avoid detection detection and made it look like they were celebrating saturnalia christians started hanging holy wreaths around their homes this allowed them to recognize other christians and still do something nice to celebrate their sacred holiday uh, that's how you can explain it inshallah about the the traditions and everything that they, they normally they normally do on the christmas day uh, eventually as pagans decreased eventually when the pagans decreased, decreased only became a symbol of christmas and inst- instead of saturnalia so it may it became a symbol of, uh, of christmas holy uh, 
uh, our uh, our sixth uh, tradition, Christmas tree decorating. So this is something uh, familiar to each and everyone. We know the situation. Uh, they normally de decorate the, the trees. We sure have taken a lot. They have surely taken a lot of uh, inspirations from the Romans, uh, because the the Roman uh, the Romans they were pagans. I think they have uh, they have taken a lot of uh, inspirations from the Romans. Uh, and tree decorating is just another borrowed tradition from the Romans, uh, pagans from the Romans. Besides feasting, drinking and exchanging gifts during Saturnalia, Romans also hung small metal ornaments on trees outside their homes. Each of these little ornaments represent a god, either Saturn or the family's person, personal patron saint. So the hangings of the, the Christmas tree, the ornaments, the smaller metals, each metal uh, represented a god, a deity, a god. Uh, Hali Germanic tribes, Germanic tribes practiced similar tree decorating tradition. This time with fruits, candles to honor the god Odin. Odin. Throughout uh, winter solicitors, solici solicitors uh, Christians seem to have uh, merged the tree decorating with ornaments, candles, and fruits to make Christmas tree decorating one extravagant, extravagant tradition. So that's how you can explain everything. So uh, those are the traditions of uh, uh, six traditions of uh, Christmas. Actually, they are from the pagan origins. Uh, they were pagan customs. So may Allah bless you, inshallah. My second video will be about uh, the origins of Christmas. So I've explained about the, the, the customs and everything. Uh, inshallah, may Allah bless you. Inshallah.